Hello, I'm Blue, and welcome back to our speed build. Um, last time we made this little inn, we did all the rooms over here to the left. I think we, what did we have? We had a fancy room. Back here was a sailor theme room, and this room was more generic. <laughs> and this is the lobby. Upstairs we had a little cafeteria, um, continental breakfast area, and then downstairs was the laundry room. And I did add music to all, all the rooms, so I hope that they fit the room well. And this time we are going to be decorating the inside of the school and the outside. We're going to put it over here in between the villager houses. I got rid of some of the cut. Uh oh, what's wrong? Oh no! You can't go! Don't go! <laughs> okay, crisis averted. We can't get rid of our cute little squirrel. Alright, but yes, we're going to build the school here. We're going to do the inside and everything in the other player house. And yeah, I think we'll start there first. And then I'll do the exterior afterwards. So, let's head over to the house and let's switch to our other player. Start the speed build.
we are done. Yay! <laughs> so here is our little school. I put some bike parking. I was debating between doing two levels or one level and I decided on just doing one level since we're using a player house and the roof kind of would get in the way of the second level. And we also have a little sitting area, some lights, more trees. <laughs> I added this so you can hear the music as well. So let's go check out inside. So when you walk into the school, this is the um, lobby area where you have your lockers and how did the principal's office over here? Yeah. And then if you head to the back room, this is the cafeteria. I wanted to make it as blue as possible. There aren't many good um, blue wallpapers that really match with the outdoor stuff, so I decided to just use a plain looking one so it wouldn't clash too much. <laughs> yeah, you got some food for the lunch line. A vending machine if you forget to bring money for lunch. And these, I didn't realize that these spooky table settings could be customized into blue. Happy to find that. <laughs> So that's our cafeteria. And then over to the right. We have our um, science lab. And this is where you can use your microscopes, look at the organisms, do chemistry. This is a little um, sink to wash your hands as well as a chemical wash station. In case you get some chemicals on you. <laughs> an, an anatomical model? I, I don't even know <laughs> how to pronounce that. Yeah, just some sciencey stuff. I thought the office wall would look nice in here. And of course, the TV just look at all the presentations. Now to the room to the left is our music room. little band practice. I wanted to include one of each type of instrument, so drums, string, uh, wind instruments. And it took me forever to get this music chalkboard. I had to go on Nookazan. Not a lot of people were selling it that day. Yeah, this is the conductor's wand for the teacher to instruct the class. And a metronome to stay on beat. <laughs> Yeah, just a little simple room. I wanted to make that a little bit more classy, because classical music. And then, did we go? Let's go downstairs. So, this is our gymnasium. We have basketball hoops. Basketball. A little strategy board for the games. Um, I was planning on doing a little bleacher setup, but... There's not a lot of room, so I just settled on the folding chairs. And the pennants on the wall are for each team. The rival team and the home team. And this is supposed to be a little volleyball court where the referee sits up here. Yeah, just a little standard gymnasium. And then for our last room upstairs... I really wanted to make an art room, but at the same time, I wanted all the other rooms I made. <laughs> so I decided to add like a dual functioning classroom. So this is like the math, English class part. And they have a little pet hamster and a flower somebody gave the teacher. And over here you have a little art setup where they're doing a still life drawing of the fruit over there. Yeah, I just thought it would be a little cute area for school <laughs> and I added these simple panels just to separate the rooms a bit because I couldn't really um, make it too spread out yeah that was our school build I hope you guys enjoyed it um, next time I will try to work on the Japanese entrance area finally and I'm really excited for that because I don't think I've ever really done a Japanese style build. I've been wanting to, but 
haven't had a chance to with the thing in Ramfa Island I did. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you stay safe. Have a great day. And I will see you guys next time.